Hello everybody, it's Be Brave. This December we are going to do a, I don't know if you call it a mukbang, a mukbang, but whatever, that's what we're doing. So I got me a pizza. This is sausage mushroom. And then I got donuts. So I got um, Boston cream, a strawberry frosted, and then a jelly donut. I got water. I put like frozen strawberries and blueberries in here. So let's get started. All right, and while I'm eating, we're going to talk. First of all, let me get a bite here. Oh, and that's the thing. If you're one of those people you don't like smacking noises and you don't like eating noises, and then you might not want to watch this. So, let's get you all out of the way. Okay? Alright, so if you were able to survive that, you should be Gucci the rest of this video. Let's see. How would you describe the music that you typically create? And when people ask me, what kind of music do you do or what does your music sound like? It's just kind of like, I just want to say, like, just listen to it because I don't, I'm not really good at describing my own music, so. Let's get sippy. What is your creative process like? Very spontaneous, very spiritual. There's not really much of a process to it. You guys, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Who would you most like to collaborate with? Oh my gosh, if he was still alive, Michael Jackson. Oh, yeah, if you could go open a show for any artist, who would it be? Michael Jackson. Do you sing in the shower? What songs? I don't sing in the shower. Which famous musicians do you admire? Can y'all guess? Michael Jackson. Who are your musical influences? Michael Jackson. <laughs> Out of Eden. And classical music. Let's try getting into the donuts. This is a jelly donut. Who or what inspires you? Music, movies, like other people's art, games, nature. What is the most difficult thing about being a musician? You have to go work a regular job, not being able to be a musician all the time. Kind of sucks. It's like having a passion for something that you can't fully commit to like you would like to. I'm going to have another piece of pizza. What other instruments do you play? I play guitar, piano. I've messed around a little bit on the bass. Mandolin a little bit. I've always wanted to learn the violin. I feel like once you know how to play one instrument, it's just you can pretty much play any instrument. Like The only thing is I do struggle with drums. I don't know why, so I always have to quantize my drums. All right, was there ever a time you thought about putting music all together? Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay, what do you like to do in your free time outside of music? Watching stuff on YouTube, watching movies, going for walks outside, reading, I like house cleaning. What do you think makes your music unique? Me! What is the best thing about being a musician? Just getting to create something that never existed before. Creating something unique. How did you develop your musical skills? Time and practice. <laughs> All right, y'all, I think I'm done with the pizza. I ate quite a bit. I already ate a donut, but I'm gonna dig into another donut. All right. When did you start playing your instrument or singing? Guitar was 14, and then piano was 10. Singing since, who knows when, forever. Okay, what's the story behind the name of your band or stage name? 
So Ebrace is an anagram. I wanted a name that would kind of match my sound, but that would also be me, where I would feel like this is me and I'm not being an imposter or using a gimmicky name or being fake. I feel like, yeah, like that's my name. What's your favorite piece of gear or instrument and why? Definitely my workstation. That's where I do all my everything on. If people don't know what a workstation is, it's like a big fancy keyboard, basically. How do you see the future of the music industry, especially with changes in technology and how people consume music? Definitely music is, I think, becoming more and more of like a background thing rather than a foreground thing. It's, it's definitely visual more than it is auditory. All right, let's, let's dig into a donut. Which one? Should we do the, let's just do a strawberry. What musician or band do you most aspire to be like and why? Do I have to answer this one? Which musical era or decade do you feel most connected to? I mean, let's just be real. Like the 80s and the 90s, man. The music was popping and locking. Do you have a particular routine or environment that helps you get into a creative mindset? No. Okay, how do you decide... When a song or a piece of music is finished and ready for the audience, the song decides. It decides when it's done. Do you experiment with different genres or styles and how does that influence your creative process? Uh, yeah, like my record, The Holidays, Embrace the Holidays. So it's like I just try to think like what are the common elements that people associate with this genre? And then how do I incorporate those elements into my style, if that makes sense? How do you capture initial ideas or inspirations when they strike? Do you jot them down, record them, etc.? Yeah, both. I've recorded and jotted things down. Do you ever revisit old unfinished work? If so, how do you approach integrating it into new material? I have a lot of old unfinished work, so I'm always revisiting. If you had to choose one word to describe your creative process, what would it be and why? Spiritual. And that would be because God's the one who gave me the talent. What's the biggest risk you've taken in your career and what did you learn from it? Showing myself eating this donut is the biggest risk that I've taken in my musical career. What are some goals or dreams you still have for your music career? Like how I was saying about how I revisit old work, like I would really like to get caught up to the present and when I write a song and put a new song out there, it's new to you and it's new to me. This is a good one. In your opinion, what's the next big thing in music and how are you preparing for it? That you asked <laughs> me. <laughs> You're looking at it. Okay, how, how can you describe your typical songwriting process? Do you begin with lyrics, melody, or something else? Sometimes I've started with lyrics, and then either that same moment or the next day or a year later or whatever, I take those lyrics and I actually compose something that fits them. More often than not, I think what I usually end up doing is I'll compose the music and then write the lyrics to fit the music. So yeah, but I've done it either way. I ate all the donuts except one, the Boston cream. All right, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed the mukbang and getting to know a little bit more about moi. Bye.